at Frankfurt Pro Light and Sound 2024. And of course, we've been asking a few visitors and exhibitors for their impressions on this year's show. Overall, it's a good feel to the show, positive vibes, and I'm really hoping that this show will continue because for us it's really important. We reach people that we don't see, for instance, at ISE in Barcelona. We change uh, this year uh, the, the hall uh, that we uh, present. Last year we was in the audio hall, but uh, this year we decide to follow our uh, first or uh, most important customer here in the lighting hall. We are very satisfied of the fair and about all the customer that we are speaking about. It is actually great to be back in Frankfurt at ProLight and Sound. The crowd here is interesting, um, lots of European people, only a few from afar. However, there's always very, very good talks and very interesting you know, interest people in our products, which is great because we can actually provide insights that very light is just more than a company that produces moving lights. Lovely to be back in ProLight. It's uh, what, five years since I've been. It's a very different show. I was used to it being much bigger, but it's a lovely show, lots of technology, lots of good things happening. Really warm welcome back. After five years, DB is back and we're very happy. The outdoor demo is a very important part for us because you know it's the only show where you can showcase in this way. There's a lot of people coming for this, to see this. I'm working for Sennheiser since more than 20 years and uh, we stopped being on the booth here since short before Corona, I think two years before Corona, because it is different to the old years. But my plan is come back with a small booth and to make networking here and to meet friends from all over the industry, partners and customers. It's good to be back here, although it's not the same that before COVID, but it still is a good market for us, Germany, because in the exhibition they are coming a lot of German customers. Also, it's important for the Belgium and the Dutch market. I feel that ProLight & Sound Frankfurt certainly has a place within the industry. If I'm completely honest, it's a little bit underwhelming having attended ISE quite recently, but we're here to support a lot of the brands that we represent in the Middle East. And it's great to see the effort that a lot of the manufacturers are still putting into this show. Germany and DAC is a, is a really important market for us, so we're definitely here. We will continue to be here. And there's some pockets of busyness at the show, which is good to see. There's clearly some quiet and, and I struggle to see how it works as a four-day show. I think the careers area is working well or I think it could be a bit more compacted in time. And you can see people with buzzing booths but there's a lot of space and there's not much in audio. I wouldn't say it's a real great show to be honest compared to last year we are missing the international guests. We see still the German and the Austrian and Switzerland customers here. But do we need the show for the future? I'm not sure. For us, the ISE Barcelona has becoming more important. When I need to consider next year, this show will be in mid of April, is the time where decisions, most of the decisions already done. It's not my dream show anymore, unfortunately.